This is the Pure Light IP65 series of LaserWorld. We have the PL5000, the PL10000 in this housing. We have the PL20000 and 30000 in this housing. And the PL70000 in this housing. All of these Pure Light units are IP65 rated, so they are perfectly suitable for outdoor use. These are the typical festival lasers. Let's start with the PL30,000. The PL30,000 is the typical festival laser you find on big stages, outdoors, for the typical outdoor festivals, from mid-range to high-end, large-scale festivals. This is the workhorse you need. It is IP65 rated, so it's waterproof. That is really helpful for outdoor use, even if you let them on, on, the, on the truss for a longer time, no problem at all, they still work and do their job. It's a great unit. You see it's been reworked a lot compared to the previous model. You see we have three different sliders to actually mask the output at the front. Uh, we have all that sealing for the waterproofness. You have some alignment openings at the side for convergence alignment and also uh, a very, very durable mounting bracket. You see, it's a solid, rugged type of mounting bracket. And what I personally like a lot is that we can attach the mounting bracket in fixed angles if we want to. So we can make sure that all of the systems are mounted in a 90 degree angle, for example. So you have the same layout on all the lasers and you can program them accordingly. So. PL30,000, really great unit for festivals. The same with, with uh, PL20,000. And if we have a closer look at the PL5,000, PL5,000 is perfectly suitable for any kind of mappings or graphics. Because what we have here is not an overpowered unit. It's got a five watt system inside, five watt, but we have really good scanning, really good scanning capability, small scanner mirrors for high scanning performance, and you can also get a CT scanner upgrade with these units. And of course, the Pure Light series, as it's the top range of the LaserWorld brand, we have really good beam specifications. We have really low divergence, we have a really thin, tiny beam, and we can use small mirrors that really help for good scanning performance. Now, PL5000, my recommendation for good graphics, good scanning, good mapping especially, mapping, art, all these kind of applications, PL5000 RGB IP65. Now, what do we have at these units? We have a lot of features built in. Um, these features are not limited to basic stuff like ILDA. We have much more. All of the units, no matter if it's a 5 watt, 10 watt, the 20 watt, 30 watt, or even the 70 watt, they come with an intelligent mainboard that gives you lots and lots of features and possibilities to work with. Having a look at the PL70,000 here, you see this is a monster. This is not a monster in size. It's quite compact for the power, but it's a monster in performance. This is the next level of high performance, high power use for really long distance beams, really high intensity beams as eye catchers on large festivals. This is what you will find there. 70 watt is the new 30 watt if it comes to really big festivals. So this is exactly the unit that you need. And it's also IP65 as the other units are. And as a standard, this one and this one and this one come with the versatile Shonet laser mainboard. And this mainboard gives you so many possibilities and controls you can't imagine. You can directly connect the laser with network to your software. And it doesn't matter which software, you have different softwares available. You have Show Editor, which comes for free with each of the laser systems with the Shonet mainboard. But you also have the possibility to use Show Controller, which is the professional software that we offer. But then, if you're more into mapping, if you're more into video, if you're more into design and art, you can also go 
for MadMapper MadLaser and directly connect your laser to your computer. Use MadMapper and MadLaser and you can output. You can really do proper good quality mappings with it. And if you're more into arts, if you're more artistic or more multimedia, you will probably also want to use Touch Designer. No problem at all. There's a direct integration. Just connect it to network. No additional licenses. Uh, just connect Touch Designer and you get going. And there's more software that is compatible with this mainboard. And uh, this is just some little part of the feature set. Because obviously, if you have a festival nowadays, and these units are so affordable, they are so low priced nowadays, that people not only have one laser on stage, they not only have two lasers, they probably have 20 or even 50 lasers on stage. And if you have such a big amount of lasers on stage, you need to have different controls because it's super difficult to control so many lasers individually with laser software, with classic laser software. So many people just want to use DMX or ArtNet with their lasers. And this is no problem with these units. The LaserWorld PL5000 RGB, PL10000 RGB, PL20000 RGB, PL30000 RGB, and even the PL70000 RGB can be controlled with DMX and ArtNet. And this can be done in a safe way. Now you think, well, DMX is not a safe protocol. It's supposed to be really glitchy sometimes and that things can happen in lasers. A 70 watt laser can be really dangerous. Not a problem with a Shonet mainboard because what you can do, you can really program that mainboard just with DMX. You use your console, you switch the mainboard with your console, no computer needed, just with your console to a setup mode. You configure the projection area and you save the settings back into the main board and they are stored inside the main board just with your console, no computer needed. And everything you do afterwards with your DMX setup just happens in that zone. Now imagine you not only have one laser, not only two lasers, but you have 20 lasers on stage. You simply select all of them at once, use your contr controls on your DMX desk, you make whoosh, zoom your projection area, hit save, and everything is stored inside each main board individually. And everything is safe what you're doing afterwards. And this is the huge advantage that you have with that Shonet laser main board. We have a standard in all of these lasers uh, that you have the safety features built in as well. And this is super, super handy because it also applies to automatic mode and all these things you have. Now, Pure Light series, standard equipped with this main board. If you want to, you can also have an FB4 mainboard inside. If you want to, we offer this as a modification. But most people just go with a standard due to all the versatile options that they get. Let's have a look at the back panel of our laser systems. They're all the same, but as they're waterproof IP65, we need to have a proper back panel set up that we don't get water ingress into the lasers. Let me just turn that laser around and have a closer look. And that setup. Now what you see here, we have these waterproof uh, openings, these flaps that cover the mainboard controls. So this is the mainboard control display for the uh, Shonet mainboard. Uh, we can close them, close them shut and they're waterproof. The same for the ILDA connectors. If you want to use classic ILDA with an external interface, you can still use it. It's still available here, but it's also connected in a waterproof way. We have DMX in and out for professional DMX connection, five pin. Um, we have a LAN connection. There is a built-in switch, so you can daisy chain different laser systems on stage, which is super handy because you simply daisy chain your network signal. The same is for the interlock connection. You can also daisy chain your interlock. And then as you're already daisy chaining data, uh, you can also daisy chain your power with a professional uh, True One connection on here. Um, then, of course, safety features available here with a key switch. In addition to the interlock connector, we can also um, uh, switch the, the beam block and we have an on and off switch. So this is the, the whole setup at the back panel of our Pure Light series laser systems. And of course, they are super durable. So they are touring great. So you can take them on the road. They come in a flight case, in a plastic flight case, and uh, which, which protects them as standard. And you can take them on the road. They're durable, they're touring great. And we see them more and more on tours and festivals 
because they're really affordable, they have all the features set, they're waterproof, and they are in the price and in the power range that is needed for professional productions nowadays. So, this is the Pure Light series, IP65. I'm really happy that we have this new product series with all the upgrades and all the new features. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing them on many festivals and events out there. Send us your pictures or videos if you have these in action and we're happy to share them online and see what you're doing with them. Laserwell PL5000 RGB IP65, PL10000 RGB IP65, PL20,000 RGB IP65, PL30,000 RGB IP65, the festival grade one, and the big beast, PL70,000 RGB IP65, which is not big in size, but big in performance.